I'm Liliana Worth in China's coastal city of Qingdao reporting on the SCO Summit. I'm in China's coastal city of Qingdao and it's here the Shanghai Cooperation Organization or SCO is having its yearly meeting. This is the 18th summit of the organization taking place on June the 9th and 10th. And this year, with China hosting the event, we'll see Chinese President Xi Jinping host the meeting. What is the SO? Which countries are involved? And why is it being held? Follow our five W's to find out more about the meeting. The Shanghai Cooperation Organization is a permanent intergovernmental international group established on June the 15th, 2001 in China's city of Shanghai. The SCO currently has eight member states. In total, its six founding members are Kazakhstan, China, Kyrgyzstan, Russia, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. And just last year, Pakistan and India became full members of the organization. In addition, the SCA also has four observer states and six dialogue partners. As it stands, the SCA member states account for over 60% of the Eurasian landmass, nearly half the world's population and over 20% of the global GDP. Over the past decade, the SCO has made efforts to address mountain security threats in the region. Multinational anti-terror groups and multilateral joint drills are just some of the policies put into place. The SCO is not just based on security cooperation. One of the main aims is to improve the region's development by increasing trade and investment, enhancing industrial cooperation and promoting people-to-people -people exchanges. Following the creation of the SCO in 2001, the SCO Charter was signed in 2002. It then came into force in 2003. In 2004, the regional anti-terrorist structure was launched in Tashkent, marking the start of the SCO's faster development. And just last June, the organization saw another historic development. India and Pakistan were given full member status in Astana. And this year's summit will be the first meeting since the group's expansion. The SCO is headquartered in Shanghai as the only regional intergovernmental organization founded in China. It also has two permanent bodies located separately. The Secretariat is in Beijing, while the anti-terrorism structure is located in Uzbekistan's capital, Tashkent. Each year, the Heads of State Council, the SCO's main decision-making body, holds a meeting in one of the group's main cities. And this year, it's taking place in China's Qingdao, one of the pioneer cities in the country's policy of opening up and reform. So how is the SCO Summit to help member states work together towards creating stability and prosperity in the region? It's brought together by what is known as the Shanghai Spirit, an approach characterized by mutual trust, mutual benefit, equality, mutual consultation, a respect for diversity of cultures and a striving towards joint development. People-to-people -people exchanges means you can bring the harmony among the people. A real dialogue. That's how the world should work. The Shanghai spirit not only serves as a foundation for the SCO, but also as guidelines for the day-to-day -day operations of the regional organization. It makes the SCO a paradigm for a new type of international relations. <laughs>